Afghan local started honking basketballs, stereo speakers, laptop computers, bicycles and helmets, desk fans, guitars, and anything else they could get their hands on after looters ransacked a now former American military base that was vacated by departing U.S. soldiers in the dead of night Friday. The U.S. left Afghanistan's Bagram Air Base after nearly 20 years by shutting off the electricity and slipping away without notifying the base's new Afghan commander, who discovered the Americans' departure more than two hours after they left, Afghan military officials said. Dozens of vehicles left behind by the United States stood on the premises while others zipped around with Afghan officials and personnel coming to terms with operating the vast base. Radars oscillated as soldiers stood on guard, and hundreds of Afghan security personnel moved into barracks that once housed U.S. soldiers where American entertainers had once visited to boost the morale of U.S. troops. An Afghan soldier strummed a guitar, singing the Pashto language epic on the Afghan homeland, while other Afghan soldiers toured the grounds on bicycles. Before the Afghan army could take control, the airfield, barely an hour's drive from the Afghan capital Kabul, was invaded by a small army of looters, who ransacked barrack after barrack and rummaged through giant storage tents before being kicked out according to Afghan military officials. Ammunition for weapons not being left behind for the Afghan military was blown up before they left. Afghan soldiers who wandered Monday throughout the base that had once seen as many as 100,000 U.S. troops were deeply critical of how the U.S. left Bagram, leaving in the night without telling the Afghan soldiers tasked with patrolling the perimeter. In one night they lost all the goodwill of 20 years by leaving the way they did, in the night, without telling the Afghan soldiers who were outside patrolling the area, said Afghan soldier Nimu Tawa, to ask that only his one name be used. On Monday, three days after the U.S. departure, Afghan soldiers were still collecting piles of garbage that included empty water bottles cans and empty energy drinks left behind by the looters 